Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudia and I do macrame tutorials. Today I want to show you how I made this dream catcher. Oh, I probably made this first one about a year ago and I wanted to recreate it for you. So I'm going to go step by step through the process and I hope you enjoy it. All of the materials I'm using, as well as links to tutorials on all the knots used in this project, are going to be listed in the description below. Lately, I've just been linking tutorials for the knots I'm using because we use the same ones all the time and likely already know them. If you're brand new to macrame, then you can just go watch that tutorial and then jump right back into this video. All the calculations for this project are based on 4mm single strand cord. Attach six. 270 centimeter lengths to the hoop with the Lurks head knot. Now we're making an X pattern, starting with the first cord on the left, do double half inch knots to the right with the next five cords. Now do the same thing from the right to the left. Now do two more rows on each side. Using this cord, do double half inches to the right. You're joining the X together. Using the sixth cord over from the left, use that as the filler cord to do double half inches to the left. Make two more rows on each side. Add three 220 centimeter cords to each side. Add three 160 centimeter cords to each side. Do just the V portion on each side of the macrame. Make sure the top of the Vs are in line so up here you do have a gap. Using this cord as the filler cord, join the two sides together. Continue to do the bottom left side of the X. We're going to join this one with this one using this as the filler cord. Do the same thing on this side. Starting from your sixth cord from the middle, do two more rows. On the other side as well. Do one double half hitch to join the sides together. Now we're adding beads to the fringe. Take this cord and you want to tape the end. This will make it much easier to thread the bead. Thread your bead onto the cord. Now measure 30 centimeters from the top of that cord and tie a knot at that spot. Repeat that every fourth chord. So we did this one, one, two, three, four, do this one. You can use a straight edge to see that they're in line. Do the same thing on the other side, starting with this chord. The two middle chords do not have any beads on them. Cut beneath the knot at about the five centimeter mark and then comb out the fringe. Do that with all of them. Cut the remaining chords following the same angle. And I like to use my comb and fray the ends a little bit. Attach a 250 centimeter cord. You want the outside to be 50 centimeters long and the inside to be 200 centimeters long. Attach another 250 centimeter cord and this time the inside one will be 50 centimeters and the outside one will be 200. Now do the spiral knot. Continue doing the spiral knot till you've almost reached the first bead.
and using a thin piece of cord, you could also use thread to do this, tie the end of the spiral knot together. Cut the ends of the thread. Using another piece of thread, attach a couple of feathers. I'm tying the knot at the back. Trim all the excess cord. I'm also going to add a little glue just to make sure the feathers don't fall out. And do the same thing on the other side. In this last step, we're attaching the doily to the hoop. You can get doilies at vintage stores or secondhand stores, or if you're like me, you happen to have a mom who made a lot of doilies in the 70s and she gifted some to me. Tying on the doily can be difficult. Every doily is different, so you have to figure out the right way to attach the one you have. With this one, I systematically tied it in several places and pulled it taut, and then I went around and tied it in more places so it was really secure. For this one, I did the half hitch spiral knot on each side and I did two columns on each side and then I did feathers on the fringe. I hope you're inspired to make this piece and I hope to see you here again soon. If you'd like to try another one of my projects, here are a couple of my favorites.